Um, hello, so today we are going to do problems from weekly contest 341. So the first problem is row with maximum ones. So basically we get a matrix, an M by N matrix, um, and we want to find the position of the row that has the most num the most ones, okay, the most value one. And these or these this matrix has just zero or one values. Um, and if we have multiple rows that have a maximum count of one, then we want to return the row with the smallest index, right? Um, or the smallest row number. Um, and so at the end, we want to return an array that has two values. The first one is the index of the row with the largest number of ones. And then the second value is just the number of ones themselves. So if we take a look at this one matrix, which is zero and one, and one zero, right? Well, we have both rows each have one, and so we want to return the smallest one. That's one what this says here, and so we return the one with position zero and has just one value of one, right? So that's what we have here. Now this one, it has three zeros. The first row, the second row has two ones, so the first row has no ones, so zero ones. This one has two ones, and so this one is the one we should return. So what's the index? Its index is one and the number of ones is two. So pretty straightforward. So let's just do it just like brute force solution, like it's like the problem says. And so what do we need? Uh, we need to find the max count and we need to find the index of the row, right? So let's call it a uh, row index or something like that. Um, and so this is going to be zero, zero initially. And we want to just return at the end, we want to return First, the first value is going to be the index, and then the second value is going to be the um, the max count. Um, and then now we just go through the rows, right? So we want to get, we want to know the index. So we definitely want to enumerate, um, and so we enumerate on the matrix value. Um, and then we want to just get the number of ones in the row. And so since the values are just zero and one, we can just get the sum. That would be the number of ones because zeros will contribute nothing. So we can just get the sum of row. So let's call this count ones. Um, and now we can just check if the max count we have so far is smaller than the one we just got for this row, then we wanna actually use this row. And so we wanna set the row index to this row. And we also wanna update the max count so that we can assign it here. So let's just call this max count. So we want to set max count to this new count here. Now, why not do equal? Because the problem asks us to do if they, if we have multiple with the same number of ones, we want to return the smallest row. And since we go in order here, the one that we assigned previously is, is the smallest row. So we, w we don't want to do equal because then we'll override with a larger row, even though they have the same number of ones. So that's why we remove it. Um, so that's pretty much it. Looks good. Let's submit. And that passes. Um, now, time complexity. This is O of the number of rows. Um, but we do the sum of each row. So it's O of uh, number of rows and number of by number of columns. So basically just the number of elements in the matrix. Uh, so that's the, the time complexity. In terms of space complexity, we are using no extra space. So it's O of 1. Um, space. Um, now, if you if want to make this a little bit better, you could just have one result initialized first at like this, just to make it a little bit nicer. You could return that as, and now the max count is just the second value here. So this is the max count. So we compare, and then res is going to be just equal the count of ones and i, right, like this. Can get rid of it like that, and that makes it a lot shorter. Um, and now we can run this and submit it, and that looks good. Okay, um, yeah, so I think that's pretty much it for this problem. Please like and subscribe, and see you on the next one. Bye.